Here he goes. Yep, not a brookie. <laughs> Check that out. What's going on everyone? Owen here for Bossy Fishing Adventures. Today I am back exploring a stream that I haven't explored in a really long time, but the last time I came here, caught some really nice brookies. And the, then the last time, actually it wasn't the last time, but the time after that I came over here, the water was really low. I couldn't find any brookies at all. This is actually, this is one of the only, the only places that there's some big migratory brook trout in this really nice stream right here. It's not like, you know, a monster river, but they run this river in the fall spring and winter. Just like the browns that I've been talking about, this is a very rare occurrence. It is one of the only places that I know that these big, there's really nice brookies in here. I've seen like 12 to 14 inch brookies. We're gonna see if we can hook into a couple guys. That's the whole goal of today. It's a beautiful stream, but these fish are really spread out. It's gonna be probably a long day, but hey, it's gonna be worth it when I get that really nice brookie in my hand. <laughs> Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Let's get right in the water and get right to work. All right, guys, today for the first time, I'm using my Lampson Guru S-Series. It's a brand new reel that I got going up from there. Got a big, nice, chunky olive woolly bugger for these nice-sized brookies in here. We're going to see what happens today. I'm feeling confident with the bugger. And last time I came here, I did pretty good on buggers. So I look forward to what's going to happen today. Attached to 4X tippet. Got two split shots just to make sure I'm getting down. That's attached to my um, leader, and that goes on to my fly line. Let's get out there and have some fun, guys. Should be an awesome day out here. This is really crazy. I've never, I've never explored up here, and it's paying off. It looks like there's like, I'm not sure these are deer tracks or what they are. You're gonna flip out when you see this hole. Can you see it? Can you see it yet? <laughs> I don't think I'm even gonna. I'm not gonna be able to continue from here. I'm gonna have to cross somehow, and I don't feel like crossing in this. So I think we're just gonna have to work from the side of this pool and just somehow make our way up slowly. This is the type of stuff I like to do though. I like exploring these creeks where very hard to get to, no clue what to expect. Look at that. When the water goes down, I need to access this right here. Look at that nice rock undercut just going right along. There's a couple big brookies in here for sure. Once it gets warmer, I will return here. And I'm definitely gonna fish this hole more. I'm, gonna, I'm actually scared almost to throw it in there. That is such a deep and daunting hole. Back in there, back in there. Fish, fish, brookie, yes, we got a brookie. Let's go. All right, first brookie of the day. Not a big one. I'll tell you, there's way more than him down there. Let's go. <laughs> Look how silvery these fish are comparison to normal brookies. Though. Let me wet my hands quick. He felt heavy. That's a funny thing. Like at first I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. Not a bad brook trout at all. Get back down there. <laughs> There's more than one in there. I can tell you that. I think I missed a fish. I'm telling you, I think I missed one. All right, guys, I got to tell you, this is the craziest thing I've ever found. I did not know this was up here at all. There could be a couple more holes like this, but I doubt it. It, look at that cut up there. I mean, look at that beautiful rock undercut. It's at least eight, nine feet deep over there. This is, this is a brook trout stream that has no regulations on it, not on the trout reproduction list at all. These fish are moving. One of the only places that I know where these brook trout are not affected by brown trout because brown trout have never been introduced in here. It's all brook trout and fall fish. Let's keep fishing, guys. I just switched up to, um, I got a gray mop fly on. I wonder if they're gonna take that. I had to switch it up. They figured me out with the green, um, uh, that green um, woolly bugger, I think. The olive woolly bugger, rather. Let's get back in there and land another one. I know he was not alone. I lied. I put on my olive bugger back on because that's my confidence fly. I love buggers. They're so much fun to fish. You could catch so much fish, big, small. It's such a versatile fly, and that's why I put it back on. And also, they just weren't hitting the gray mop for some reason. But away from that, I kept working my way upstream, and I found this really nice, long, slow, deep pool. And I caught some nice fish and also got into some really good hookups up there. Check it out. It's waiting to feel that big bump. That first fish, we... oh gosh, I'm casting really loudly. I got to... Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, it's a rainbow. What? 
I didn't know they stocked this. I really had no clue they stocked us. It's a nice fish. I wonder where he came from. Like I said, I'm in the middle of absolutely nowhere. I have no clue where this fish could have came from. Oh, come here, come here, come here. All right. Okay. He looks like he's been here in here for a while, though. It's not like he's just stocked or anything. I mean, I'm not fishing stock trout wire, at least in the area that I'm in. I didn't even know there was... He kind of looks wild. Look at his fins. He looks... I don't think he's wild, though. There's no way. Check it out. I thought my camera's recording, guys. I just got an about 11, 12-inch brookie in the net. <laughs> I was stripping my bugger, and he just whacked it so hard. <laughs> oh, he's wrapping himself. Oh, no, calm down, dude. He smashed a bugger. Wait until you see this fish. It is a gorgeous fish. I need to get my gloves off. I thought I had my camera rolling. Oh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Sorry, we're having a productive day now. They're starting to turn on the bite, I think. Let me get this bad boy unhooked. Check that out. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> All right, guys. See, there's another one up there that's willing to eat. He chased it. Just slow chase. I'm not moving it really fast. And I've, I'm not moving it really quick because the fish's metabolism are probably still relatively oh that wasn't a fish oh that's a tree and that was a very loud splash it probably spooked a lot of fish in this hole all right guys the camera's rolling i don't know i might not be able to make it past this spot here he goes yep another brookie <laughs> oh. oh you son of a gun <laughs> they're on the bite now thought i had a fish there for a second they are so aggressive. Just throw it up there. I was just dead drifting that. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go get that one, I think. Sorry, just right there. All right, guys, sorry the camera's a little bit blurry. <laughs> Still snowing out pretty good. I got iced up guides and everything. It's been a slow day, but as soon as I made it up here, I think these fish are just starting to turn on the bite. So I think I'm going to go right back to where I started, which took me a while to get there. So I'm going to start heading back there now. I might get there in like a couple hours or so, which is exactly why I need a book in now. I want to go upstream so bad because it looks really good upstream too. It just looks, it's just all phenomenal water. Phenomenal water. It's just 30 degrees right now. It's below freezing. These fish aren't working very hard. And I'm glad that I landed at least two brookies in that one nice rainbow. I lost like three brookies though, <laughs> as you saw. I'm not sure if you saw that or not, but... Hey, let's keep working and let's keep, let's see if we can land a couple more fish. That's what it's all about. We're out here exploring a brand new creek. Well, actually it's not brand new, as I said, exploring brand new water on a stream that I've already fished downstream where it looked, you know, it looked good, but, and I thought that was phenomenal water. And I came up here, I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck was I doing downstream? <laughs> but yeah, let's get back downstream to where my car is and continue from there. All right, guys, here's the hole that I was talking about. Look, look at this daunting hole. Only one more thing to do. See who wants to come out and play. Okay, they're hanging right next. They're hanging on the slow water. There we go, over there. There it goes. Yep, there's one. Nice, not a bad one either. All right, let's go. Good we oh you son of a gun <laughs> I shouldn't have had him up downstream but as I said all the to last time I fished here they're all along that that slow the slow water over on the other side see if I can redeem myself <laughs> somebody else willing to take that'd be very nice eel can you be very can you just be nice and come out there he goes. Yep. A little guy. 
Really little guy. Oh, you suck. I was trying to bring him upstream so he didn't do that. <laughs> Wow guys, I must say, that was a crazy adventure. From going around big giant mountain cliffs to get to the other side of huge holes. I can't believe the amount of big holes in this creek. It's really ridiculous. It's not surprising that there's so many brook trout in here. Specifically, right now they're just not working too hard as I said, because this water's up, you know, it's still winter, it's a really cold day. Once spring comes, oh my gosh, I bet you the action's gonna be amazing here for streamers. Should be great with using those woolly buggers. And I had a decent day today. It's just almost all the fish got off. We only like, I think I only brought like two brookies to the net and lost like eight or nine brookies. I'm not even kidding you. I could probably go back in the footage. I lost like eight or nine brookies. What the heck? That rainbow's a surprise though. I didn't expect that at all. I don't know where he came from. This is nowhere close to any stock trout water at all. As I said, I'm, I'm in the middle of practically nowhere. <laughs> but what a spectacular day, guys. I'll see you next time. I probably got to head out. Sun's going down. But wow, what a phenomenal experience today. Nothing like being out here alone in the wilderness. Just you, yourself, and the stream. And losing a bunch of brook trout. <laughs> but hey, at least we landed too. See you next time, guys.